under materialistic worldview. We're nothing more than moist robots, lumps of matter fizzing with chemical reactions. How can materialists then trust in anything they think, any opinion that they have? Well, right. Well, I don't think they can, but yeah. indeed they do, which should tell them that their philosophy is wrong. Hmm. Because if everything's driven by the laws of physics, as materialists say it is, then that means all their thoughts are driven by the laws of physics. But all of, if all of their thoughts are driven by the laws of physics, why should they even think the thought that all their thoughts are driven by the laws of physics is true? Exactly. You see, you see the problem here? Mm. And, and I, for some reason, I, atheists don't seem to see this inconsistency in their worldview. They've actually made reason impossible yeah. by their ideology of materialism. They've made it impossible, Paul. And in fact, can I just read something from C.S. Lewis? I can't say anything better than C.S. Lewis. Sure. So let me just read what he said. Here's what he said on a BBC broadcast way, way back. He said, suppose there were no intelligence behind the universe. In that case, nobody designed my brain for the purpose of thinking. Thought is merely the byproduct of some atoms within my skull. But if so, how can I trust my own thinking to be true? But if I can't trust my own thinking, of course, I can't trust the arguments leading to atheism and therefore have no reason to be an atheist or anything else. Unless I believe in God, I can't believe in thought. So I can never use thought to disbelieve in God. So what we say in America when somebody comes up with an argument like that, all we say is, boom. <laughs> boom. boom. There's nothing else you can say. He's absolutely right. If you can't believe in thought, if, if you don't believe in God, you can't believe in thought. Sure. And yet, in order to use thought to disbelieve in God, you're stealing from God to argue against him, which yeah. is a, a subject of a book I wrote called Stealing from God. Atheists are stealing many things from God to say God doesn't exist. Hmm. And just to clarify for our viewers as well, that goes for free will too, correct? Ex same thing. Yeah, yeah you don't have thing. free will if you're a moist robot. So how can you trust <laughs> anything you think? How can you make free choices? How can you hold anybody accountable for anything? You can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that goes for morality, crime, law, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. science. Right. Everything. Everything's out yeah, the window anything. under yeah. materialism. Everything's out the window, it seems. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I don't understand. I don't know, Paul. Maybe you're more, re more well-read than I am on this, but I have never seen an atheist try and take this on. They just avoid it. They do. I've asked Michael Shermer in both of our, my debates with him to deal with it. He wouldn't. Christopher Hitchens, same thing. Hmm. They don't deal with the, the issue of materialism and the fact that it negates our ability to reason. It's, it negates our ability to have free will. I mean, who was it? Daniel Dennett, who said that consciousness is an illusion. Yes. Well, one wonders if he was conscious when he wrote that. <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> why believe it if, you, if you're not conscious? Anyway. Yeah. And, and why would um, atoms or quarks or molecules, why would they produce thoughts in the first place? What's, what's, the, yes, what's the point exactly. of that? What's the purpose of that? And, um, yeah. And how do well, we even know th molecules, quarks exist unless we have the free will to follow the evidence where it leads? Exactly.